I remember being in the corner right here, yeah, filming. Oh yeah. And you were just spotting them right there with your blue shirt on. It's fun for these two to reminisce. So yeah. Oh yeah. And my I remember a couple to look back to those pre-pandemic months that they spent together creating a documentary. It's called Sunny, and it's about Dion. I got the nickname Sunny from my grandmother because that was my dad's nickname, actually. It's a nearly 10-minute tale, and it reveals his early struggles. I lost my parents at the age of two due to drug addiction, which made, you know, growing up without parents very difficult. And as part of what Sonny shared with Sam, his gym friend, who was the next treadmill over. It's not like an everyday story that you hear. I'm like, oh, you really, you really don't know this part about me. Those aren't like everyday details that yeah. someone's going to disclose. Those are pretty private, you know, things that you keep to yourself. And so I just felt like it was a very like personal moment where we had that trust and that relationship. And at some point I was like, let me just stick a big camera in your face and we'll go from there. I just got let go due to unreliable transportation. Oh. I'll help you out. That's no problem. Okay. As long as you keep, stay focused. Yeah, I will. Stay I got focused. you. I got you. So it won't be transportation problems no, when you get no, in here? No, nah, because I'll ride a bike here if okay. I to, so. From his job at the Fort Ben Y to his dad duties. By having them so young, I feel like we grow together. Before Noah, I was making a lot of immature decisions. One of them got me locked up for selling narcotics. Sonny talks about his life, his mental health. When my grandmother passed, I was diagnosed with depression. His escape, his therapy was going to the gym. Yep. I think a lot of kids like tend to like hold a lot of stuff in and it builds up and like they don't know how to express themselves. So another thing, I was just trying to show them that like I express my feelings through the gym. I think it's just inspirational. I think this story and this message is, is just all across the United States and even across, across the globe. Just kids, young adults, like working out, trying to figure out where their mental fortitude can derive from. Can people change? Yes, for sure, at any age, you know? Um, I, I truly believe people can change, you know? From the worst, from the worst, like, conditions, um, but change starts with you, you know what I mean? It starts in here. What's up, son? And he says his motivation is his son. I made the change not just for myself, but for him. And like, because I don't want him to go without. It's a simple story, and it's resonating. Playing in 40 festivals nationwide, winning three regional Emmys, and now featured on NBC LX. I'm definitely proud. Like, I, I watched it at least like, 200 times <laughs> and my son loves it. My son loves it. And this right here <laughs> is his favorite scene. It's when I won my <laughs> competition and Noah just runs up and like jump in my arms. It's just like, wow, he's really watching me. I made him proud, you know? I feel like my, I'm not done, you know? I'm still going, everything is still like getting better, you know? Rome wasn't built in a day, so it's gonna take time for me to get to where I wanna be. You know, Sam said it's really interesting. There can be so much going on with a person right next to you, and you don't even know it if you don't take the time to have that conversation and listen.